I'll show you my new uh, Rhinox tank bag. So how do I? Uh, do I? So which side is the front side? Ah shit! Come on, you can do better than that. One eternity later. Yeah, here's that. So many zips and I'm getting confused over here. So here's my Rhinox tank bag. As you can see, I have some of my GoPro equipments, a small headphone, and this is the rain cover for my tank bag, and this is a small water bottle which I have, a nylon cloth in case the current one gets dirty. Next I have a pair of sunglasses, one for drying through the day, another for drying at night, and what else? And here a GoPro dual battery charger to charge my GoPro battery in case the current one runs out. And apart from that I also have other compartments here. Let me just kill off my ignition. And here I'm having a having my power bank. And in this side I think I'm not here. So I had I had my documents somewhere oh yeah. So there is also another zip around here. So sorry, this is the one which I opened, right? Okay. <laughs> and I'm confused as if to which zip to open. Next this side I have some important wires that I have, some USB connectors. And to the right, I have some cosmetic products, some straps, some sunscreen. Where's my sunscreen? A few minutes later, I had my sunscreen. Yeah, that's my sunscreen. So that's the review of my Rhinox tank bag. Right now, it fits snugly with, onto my tank with the help of these. These are four magnets which stick to any metallic tank in the case of non-metallic tanks you have to use the strap to lodge this to your bike so that's how this works